What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today we're giving you guys a brand new video and in this video I actually wanted to go over a raid I did on a recent live stream which I'll talk about in a bit if you guys are interested in that um, but I had a really unique raid that used a lot of different uh, mechanics of the troops AI inside of Clash. I'll show you guys in a second but just watch the raid and see how it plays out. So first of all I'm going to drop those two golems just to check for some giant bombs. They're going to go ahead and redirect and uh, the interesting part with the AI sort of comes later inside of the raid so let me just go ahead and tell you guys what goes on right now and then towards the end you're going to see some pretty weird things happening so as i drop my troops all my troops are going towards the center just going for an all-out assault through the middle of the base which i've been seeming to have a lot of success with against bases like this giant bomb does destroy about five of my wizards that somehow i wasn't able to uh disarm when i was entering through the bottom right hand side but still things are looking pretty good two raid spells are going down and as you can see, I am intensely watching on the right-hand side. We're at 35%, 37%, Queen's attacking the Town Hall. And uh, so far, this raid looks pretty good. So I'm sort of just relaxing, hanging out, having a good time. Uh, we're at 49%, 50%. We got the second star. And at this point, I'm actually thinking I have a chance of getting three stars. Because if you look at this guy's defenses, he actually has a Wizard Tower, um, Archer Tower. Board. He has a couple of buildings inside of that inner ring. But none of his buildings are hiding behind any more layers of walls. Literally, all of his buildings... Uh, like his dark elixir drills his barracks stuff like that those are the ones encased by another set of walls but I still have a P.E.K.K.A. I still have wizards and I still have a witch so I should actually be able to take those guys out so this is where it gets interesting and uh, if you guys tend to rage about troop AI you should probably look away right now so I dropped some barbarians on the very top to provide a distraction from the archer tower and the wizard tower my troops are going in and I'm not going to pause it I'll rewind it in a second but look at my troops and look what happens the skeletons are attacking the wall, my wizards are attacking a building, and right now this part makes no sense whatsoever. Wizards blow up this building, I mean, it's just a whole cluster of AI, and look at me on the right hand side, I'm going to break it down in a second and pause it piece by piece, but somehow, some way, my skeletons kept attacking this wall, my wizards actually targeted a building out of nowhere, and I'm going to go ahead and rewind it, and uh, you can see me raging on the screen right now. So let me just go ahead and bring it back a second. And let's go ahead and talk about what happened. This is pretty, pretty weird. And uh, I was pretty mad when it happened. All right. So this is a good point to, to stop at. Um, let me just go ahead and let my troops run through. But the interesting part you guys should watch throughout this replay is watch my wizards and watch the skeletons. Those are the two things um, that I'm going to talk about as I pause this frame by frame. Again, I had my queen. She's going to go ahead and shoot some of these buildings down. She did a pretty decent job. The rest of my troops are rolling around. But if you take a look right now. I have one P.E.K.K.A., I have four Wizards, I have a bunch of Skeletons, and my Witch. So, so long as those guys, those uh, Skeletons stay up front, I'll be fine, and I should be able to destroy the rest of the base. So, let's see what happens. Everything's going okay. Wizards are targeting that el Elixir Drill before that Cannon. That's fine. They're targeting the Cannon now. The Cannon died. Attacking the Dark Elixir Drill. Now, this is interesting. Look at the Wizards right now. What is the closest building to the Wizards? That's going to be the Dark Elixir Drill. That's what they would attack. What's the second closest building to the Wizards? It's going to be the Barracks. So let's see what happens. These Wizards go suicide mode. And instead of waiting for the Witch to spawn more skeletons that are going to walk in front of the Archer Tower... The wizards just run and attack the archer tower. And this isn't even... So So that's really weird. Instead of the wizards attacking the two buildings closest to it, they run to the archer tower and they start getting attacked and, and some of them die. So this is still okay. Like, I still have some wizards left and they're outside of range of this wizard tower. Now, what I need to happen is for the skeletons to tank the wizard tower for my wizards. So let's see what happens. My wizards destroy that building right there. Now, there's a, only a Dark Elixir Drill left, and there's an Elixir Collector left. Let's see what happens. Wizards are going to go ahead and destroy that Dark Elixir Drill. And since the Skeletons are targeting the Dark Elixir Drill right now, as soon as that Dark Elixir Drill dies, they should actually go and retarget the Wizard Tower. Or they should do something. They're attacking a pointless wall, and at this point, the Skeletons should probably redirect and attack the Wizard Tower. But instead, five Skeletons go ahead and attack three different walls and I spawn some more skeletons and you'll see the new skeletons actually redirect and attack the wizard tower but the other skeletons are so stupid that I end up failing this raid so overall the wizard attacking a random building out of nowhere instead of the ones that were closest to it the skeletons not redirecting it was overall just a really really weird raid and I feel like someone in twitch chat put it the best way they said uh they said Larry screwed you over so thank you Larry and uh oh there was also another really good comment someone was like uh, 
AI is fixed in quotes from Supercell 2015. Like they were fake air quoting Supercell. So that raid should have been a three star. I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys that one because it was really, really, really interesting. I don't know how, I don't know how this targeting just like went so crazy, but uh, it was a really, really depressing one. And uh, one I wanted to share uh, with you guys. Yeah. Let me pull it up one more time. Just, I won't pause it this time, fast motion. You just see everything's looking good. Skeletons are attacking the cannon. Um, they want to break through the wall for some reason and attack that Dark Elixir Drill. As my wizards, instead of attacking the Dark Elixir Drill, they run to the Archer Tower and try to die and kill themselves. Somehow, some way, they don't end up dying to that Wizard Tower. And then instead of the skeletons doing anything useful whatsoever, they attack three separate walls and do absolutely nothing as my wizards die. So a raid that should have been three stars didn't get three stars, and that is the point of the story. So... That's my little raid, uh, weird raid that involves some interesting use of the AI, especially of those little skeletons and the wizards. And that's pretty much it. Drop your comments on what you think about what happened inside of this raid. Maybe you guys have a different theory to what happened, but uh, I was pretty unhappy with this one and I wanted to share it with you guys on my YouTube channel. That's going to do it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.